Oh yeah, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And this video is gonna be a on-water review of the new Prion Pike. Check this thing out. I already did a full walkthrough breakdown of the outfitting and how the edges are and the rocker and all that. If you guys wanna go check that out now, go ahead and click on that. I'll also leave a link to that video at the end of this video. I will be doing some final thoughts at the end of this video and uh if you guys want to you can skip to the end of the video if you don't want to watch me paddle it and just hear my opinion on it but yeah today i meant to put in of the royal gorge the royal gorge rafting company here so there's another put in we're supposed to use but who knows he knows somebody so okay so yeah let's get on the water and let's um let's do some playing let's do it oh yeah well these these thigh braces feel funky my legs are very straight They're like straight, dude. There's like no. I think it's weird how the cockpit room is so low, too. Like in the front. Yeah. It's like recess. There it is. It's like it's tucked down inside the rim. You notice yeah. that? Yeah. Huh. Feels good. The boat feels good just sitting here, though. That's good. Woo! Oh, that's narrow. Dude, that is a very narrow hull. There's like no stability back here behind the hips. That ought to be fun. It feels like a bullet though. It feels like a river runner half slide where you could do it on a big enough eddy line, but it's like you need a powerful current. Like to throw this thing down, I've got a pretty decent stern square and I'm struggling with it. The man on the wall is the keeper of the gorge. That face right there in the middle of the big wall. Yeah. So you went up and over, I just loaded and went. Yeah. That's the ripper runner of this one yeah. compared to the ripper. I just seen it there. Yeah. We had identical lines. I mean, that looks awesome right there. So that's like old railroad for uh, gold mining, right? Gold mining for those railroads? Yeah, I mean, that's sort of smart thing. Because this rail line goes all the way up to Glenville and over Tennessee Pass. Woo so this is the same railroad that's up at Pine Creek that you cross yeah. on the Pine Creek. It's the same line. Yeah, that's like 50, 60 miles away from here, yeah. right? Yeah. But if there was no railroad track, you dislocated a shoulder or something in here. Look at that. Yeah. Oh boy. Wild. You're you're swimming the river out, buddy. I 
That's so much speed, I didn't even get wet coming off of that. to get the tail down. This just does like a quick pivot turn. over and just we'll to set it back down yeah it's like too much volume right back there we'll just set the boat back down i'd almost take that stern wall out and flatten it gets on that flat center and it just like spins out on you so through the rapids i was like more like draws and holding it because i felt like it would get pushed around it feels a little rounded up here too like it gets pushed around i want to be way back on this back tail let's see how this thing surfs It's wanting to turn me. There's some edges up on that bow that do grab when you get up here to eddy out. That's nice. That reminds me of a scorch and ripper. there it was final thoughts on the prion pike it had a lot of tail volume more tail volume than what i would prefer it's not really a full half slice i would say it's more like a river running half slice kind of similar to the exo rexy not the party rexy this should be a party pike i think a party pike would be dude if they smashed that down and made it a party version this boat would be money very narrow here so my feet got kind of pushed up in the sides not a lot of bow rocker it seems to want to pierce in then lift up and i did like how those rails i could edge it in that front edge and these rails would engage and go back i think what this thing's going to be good for is someone that wants a river runner half slice without a big spicy tail it seemed to want to paddle better when i was leaning back when i was forward it just seemed like it it disengaged that tail and it got a little squirrely i had to constantly fight it to keep it on track but once you got back on it, it paddled really nicely on that back seat because it lifted that bow up and it's wide and flat back here. 
it would get back on that flat area back there and it would just go so smooth the rails were not edgy at all the thigh braces worked very well these were very aggressive it puts your knees in a straight up position instead of sprawled out so my knees are almost completely vertical and this thing is a rocket this thing i would say it's not as fast as like the chili and and um faster than a ripper so it's between a ripper and chili it's right on par with like the chili and ripper overall i think it's definitely a good river runner i wouldn't say it's a half slice you could pivot turn it and i could stern squirt it in the right eddy line the real negatives were it's super edgy it's super squirrely right here like it's it's got volume but it tapers in so it's very squirrely coming in and out of things and in rapids it's super narrow in this area but it's not easy to get down the bow could definitely use more rocker that's for sure i think it should be wider up there too if they went wider with that bow it'd be a really good bow for busting over things right now it wants to go in and lift up and it's hard to tail load it you can't tail load it like you could the ripper and yeah it seemed to want to kind of get offline from time to time it's very flat in that center and it would get offline so you'd want to keep a active blade in the water and keep driving this thing downstream very fast but it can when you see what i mean when you lean back it leans back and it gets up on that it drops and makes more rocker in it it paddles very well like that but wow if you if you if you just barely stop paddling this thing it just gets off the line so damn easy it spins it's got a very low water contact in there honestly what i think i would do is take that stern wall out and flatten this thing i'd remove that stern wall out and heat it up and flatten it down and i think you'd have a sick boat it'd be fast and you could stern squirt everything all right everybody that's all i got today on the prion pike you guys leave in the comments below what you think of this thing if this looks like a boat you would get because um, i'd like to hear what your opinion is on that or if you got any questions on the pike i'll do my best to answer them for you guys so yeah that's all i got so peace out let's get out of here let's get out of here